Hey guys, it's Golden Week in Japan right now, and that means lots of sales for lots of games. So there are a ton of really good games to help you learn Japanese with, and just really good games in general available right now. So in this list, we're going to be going over the top 25 best games to help you learn Japanese, going from the most expensive to the cheapest. Now, just a quick warning, the games that we're going to be looking at are available on Steam, Switch, and PlayStation 4, and each game has its own different time that the sale ends. So from the start of this video, you know, there might only be five days left on the sale, or there might be a week or more. So it really just depends. So if there's a game that you really want to get that you've seen in this video, please make sure to get it as quick as possible before the sale runs out. Now, one thing to keep in mind, all of these recommendations are based on me being in Japan. And so for me, the Japanese language options are available. But depending on your region, some areas might not have the Japanese language. I know it sucks, um, but I really can't find out which, you know, make the perfect list for every single place so please make sure to check before you buy any games if the Japanese language options are available in your region. I know that for the Nintendo Switch and the PlayStation 4 um, they're generally a little bit easier to get um, you can just make a Japanese account and things should work out well for you however on the Steam uh, it's a little bit more tricky sometimes it doesn't have the Japanese language other times it does but it doesn't tell you it does it can get a little bit tricky so so please make sure you do your research before you buy any of these games just to make sure that it has Japanese before you get it. So starting off at the most expensive game on this list, we have Lost Judgment. So Lost Judgment is the sequel to Judge Eyes or Judgment on the PlayStation 4. This stars the famous Japanese actor and personality Takuya Kimura. Um, he's famous from like a band called Smap and all kinds of things. Um, this is a really cool game for learning Japanese with, really cool because it has all of the kind of advantages that Yakuza games have, where they're set in real Japan, so you, there's not too much fantasy language, most of it's going to be useful for you. The problem with Yakuza games is that it's very heavy uh, on the kind of Yakuza slang that you might not necessarily use. However, in this game, this is all from the perspective of a detective, and actually a lawyer as well. So you learn a lot more useful vocabulary about, you know, just more general life stuff. You know, this game has you going inside many different types of establishments that you would find in real life, you know, convenience stores and hotels and restaurants and things. It, it really is more of based in real Japan. Obviously there is still the Yakuza themes to it, but this is a great game for you to help you learn Japanese. This game currently is 30% off on PS4 and we can see that the price is 6,300 yen or about 6,400. So this is the most expensive game on the list, but it is really, really good. Now, just quickly about the way the language is accessible in this game. So there are movie scenes which go by without you being able to pause it. However, you can pause the game and thankfully there is actually a transparent screen so you can see the text even when you press the pause button. But even better with this game, you actually have a log. Thank you game developers for including logs. So this game, Lost Judgment, has a log of the most recent 101 lines that has been spoken, um, that's whatever been happening as you've been playing the game. So pretty much the whole recent scene and maybe even the scene before the current scene, you'll be able to review all of the language anytime you want. Just press the start button and then the square button and you can go back to your log. So that's really cool. You can't unfortunately replay the audio, but still, that's really, really cool. So this game has a whole bunch of cutscenes you can kind of watch like a movie. There are also moments where you think to yourself, which you can take at your own pace, which is quite nice. And for everything that you come across, you can always review by pressing start and then the square button. So a really good game to help you learn Japanese, especially because it's set in real world and because it has real people, real voice actors. It's not too anime or anything like that. It's very realistic Japan. This is the most expensive game though. So now getting a little bit cheaper, number 24, 13 Sentinels. <laughs> Now, if you haven't already seen my video about 13 Sentinels, this is one of my favorite games ever uh, for both language learning, but as well as just in general. I love this game so much. And if you haven't already seen my review on this video, you should really check that out. It's a fantastic game. Now, right now, 13 Sentinels on PlayStation 4, not the Switch version, just PlayStation 4, it's 40% off. So this is a really good time to buy it because it's 
just under $60. Um, normally it's closer to, you know, $90. So this is a great time to buy 13 Sentinels. Now, 13 Sentinels is obviously a fantastic game to help you learn Japanese. Um, it has a whole bunch of language that you can take at your own pace. It has voice acting. You can replay the lines. You can replay the scenes. It has chat logs. It has all kinds of stuff. Check out my video if you haven't already as I go through all of the information about why this is such a great game. This is a fantastic game. You definitely should play it. Um, and it's on sale right now, so now's the best time to get it. The next game we have for number 23 is Fire Emblem Three Houses. Now, this is a little bit of a tricky one. A lot of the Nintendo Switch games are a little bit tricky. So right now, it's 30% off. So that makes it 5,300, about $53. Now, there is a bit of a thing to keep aware if you pay for the online service in on Nintendo, you actually can have access to buying two tickets for about $100. That makes it so that any first party Nintendo game, you can actually buy two tickets and you can use one of them on a game and that lets you buy a game for $49 or just under 50. So that's always available without the sale. Right now, with the sale, it's 53. A little bit more expensive than the tickets. So this is still good if you're not using the online function, but if you're using the online uh, function and you buy the tickets then you don't really need to care about this sale right now, it's actually more expensive. Um, but if you just want to buy this game on its own, now's a great time to buy it because it's 30% off. This is a fantastic game. It is relatively difficult in the sense that it's based around fantasy, so there's a lot of language that you're going to be learning that even some Japanese people might not know, but it's a really fun one. It's got a ton of voice acting. Now, that being said, even though it's quite difficult because it is very fantasy setting, it does have a log feature, so you can go back and replay the audio whenever you want, and it also has an audio replay button, so that's fantastic. So this is really, really cool, um, and this really really does help make it much more accessible. If a game like this didn't have a log function, if it didn't have the ability to replay the audio, it may be a little bit more difficult for you as a language learner because some of the language is even difficult for Japanese people. But thanks to the log, you can take it at your own pace, you can go back and review, and you can even look up the readings of words so you don't have to write down the kanji, you can just replay the audio, test your listening and be like, oh yeah, that's how it's said, great. So it makes it really easy to look things up. So very good game for helping you learn Japanese, especially if you're interested in fantasy games. This is a really good one. So it's really good that it's on sale. If you're not on the Nintendo Online, if you're using Nintendo Online, then you might as well just buy a ticket instead. Next, we have number 22, Tales of Arise. Now, Tales of Arise is on sale for 40% off. Here on Steam, it's 5,200 yen, so about $52, and then on PS4 it's 5,700, so about 57. Now, this is a really great game for more like Japanese immersion. It's a little bit more challenging to look things up. It doesn't have any kind of log features, but it is still a really fun game. It's very visually impressive. It's got lots of voice acting, so that's a really good thing. One thing about this game is that like, as you're playing, it does kind of progress like a movie, right? Cutscenes will happen. But you also have these cool things that are like interactions between the characters. So you can choose to take these at your own pace when you're in a certain area. Just by pressing the control button, you open up this kind of comic book style dialogue between the characters and they talk. Now, you can't use a log, but you can pause it mid uh, conversation and this won't put up any messy overlay or blur or anything. So you can read the text and take it at your own pace. So that's a nice part of the game that you can take at your own pace. And I believe you can do the same thing uh, in cutscenes as well. So it's quite approachable in that way. But the problem is that you can't replay any audio. But it is still a really cool game to play. It's not necessarily a highly recommended one for beginners, but maybe for a little bit more advanced and you want to play a more, you know, immersive type experience where you hear lots of Japanese, get lots of uh, immersion here with listening and reading, then Tales of Arise is a pretty good game for you. It is a little bit expensive though, uh, here being at more the $50 range, but still 40% off is pretty good. So next we have number 21, Buddy Mission Bond. Buddy Mission Bond. This game is freaking awesome. Now you can only get this on the Nintendo Switch, but it is so cool. So it's pretty much like a 
interactive manga, right? Where not like a visual novel where it's like static character talking to static character, which is a little bit boring. This is more like a manga where you have panels and, and the text kind of pops at you and then you've got, you know, action and things that happen. It's so, so cool. This is a really cool game and I really recommend it for people who want to learn Japanese. It's a fun game to play. Now, actually, right now, we can see that it's on sale for 30% off, so it makes it 4,989, which is just one yen cheaper than if you bought it with a ticket. <laughs> um, so, not a huge sale, you can just buy it normally using the ticket, but still, if you don't have online, this is great right now. Now also, this game does have a trial version, so you can download that and check it out and see if it's a game you want. And actually, if you play it for the next five days, um, it's actually available if you pay for the online service, it's available completely free. So you can just play it as much as you want right now for the next five days. Sorry, uh, everyone who's seeing this video later. Unfortunately, um, the nature of the beast. <laughs> uh, this is a very limited thing right now. However, it's still a great game. Check out the trial version if you want. Really, really good stuff. A really good thing about this game for your language learning needs is that it does actually have an automatic button and then you can turn that automatic button off. So you can take the language at your own pace. You're also able to have a look at the Rekishi here with the Y button, so that is the chat log. So really useful stuff being able to see the language again, take it at your own pace. Highly recommended game, really, really good. I love the music, I love the art style, and I really want there to be more games like this in the future, so this is a fantastic game to check out. Next, we have Legend of Heroes for the PS4, Kuro no Kiseki. Now, this is a really, really, really big series, um, the Legend of Heroes series. And some of the games are really, 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 really good, and some of them are not so good. <laughs> um, it depends on your tastes. I'm a little bit more of a fan of the darker games, not really the school games. Um, however, there are some of these um, Legend of Hero games that are really, really good. Um, this one in particular is pretty decent here, and this is on sale for 40% off, so we can see that it makes it just under $50. Now, this game for the PlayStation 4 only um, is, is pretty good. There's a lot of dialogue. A lot of dialogue. If you want reading practice, you got some reading practice. Um, the weird thing about this game is that it kind of really mixes in voiced scenes with non-voiced scenes, like constantly. So one second you have a voiced scene, the other second you have a whole bunch of just you have to read it yourself, and then all of a sudden it goes back to voice. So it's a little bit not so reliable. Now there isn't any chat log, so unfortunately that doesn't really give it too many good points. So it is more of the challenging game, however there are a lot of people who swear by this series, this franchise is really good, um, and I, I definitely love some of these games, but just not all of them. <laughs> this one's pretty good though, so definitely feel free to check this out. Actually, just a quick side note, if you have PlayStation Now, you have access to a bunch of these games for free, completely. So check that out, there's a bunch of them available and they're really good, and some of the good ones are available as well. However, most of the best ones you do have to purchase. <laughs> Number 19, Attack on Titan 2, <laughs> Final Battle. <laughs> This is a game I really just wanted to include, um, number one, because it's on sale. This game is almost never on sale, I'm so happy that it's on sale right now, so if you are at all interested in Attack on Titan, now is the time to get this game. And it's actually surprisingly cool to help you learn Japanese. So this game goes through all of the story of Attack on Titan up to like, I believe, season 3 or 4? I think it's 3. Um, so that's a lot of the story that it covers. You get to see cutscenes of all this kind of language as you play the game, constantly as you're flying around, whizzing through the air, cutting down titans. There's actually dialogue that's constantly happening that you can listen to and hear characters talking. So it's nice to get some listening practice. However, it's not just there. Actually, while you're playing the game, if you press the pause button, you can actually have a look at the chat log um, of all of the lines, and you can even replay the audio, which is really unexpected. Um, so this isn't unfortunately for the main story, but while you're just battling, you can actually replay the audio for all of the stuff the characters say. So even if it flies by, before you finish the mission, just pause and go back through if you want, and you can listen to everything. Now, I have said that, you know, the main story flies by, but that doesn't mean that you can't replay it. This game allows a whole bunch of replaying levels because you actually get a score 
for the level, like each level has its own kind of stage vibe to it, so you can actually replay it if you want, and you can actually go back through and re-immerse in all that language, you could then study that language, and then go back and replay that level, kind of mastering. This isn't necessarily great for everyone, but if you love Attack on Titan, this is a great way to help you learn Japanese uh, and immerse yourself in the Attack on Titan universe. You can also replay the movies and things like that, so super cool. I have an absolute blast with this game. Really, really fun. Really fun. Um, and, you know, obviously Attack on Titan is freaking awesome, so this is a great time to buy it, especially because it's on sale. As we can see, it's 45% off. That is huge, okay? This game right now is $47. Normally, it's close to $90. That is way too much money. $47, much better. So this is a great time to buy Attack on Titan 2 if you have any interest at all in Shingeki no Kyojin. Number 18, The Xenoblade Chronicles. Now, I've included both number 1 and number 2 here, and the reason why is that they're very similar in its positives and negatives. They're quite similar games. They're really good games and there's a bunch of Japanese to have fun. It's a huge RPG sprawling game, really good fun, lots of voice acting, great music. There is one thing to keep in mind. Number one is 30% off. That means it makes it $46. Number two is also 30% off, but that makes it $60. So it's kind of like, mm, it's a little bit more expensive. That being said though, both of these games you can buy with a Nintendo ticket, so you can just pay $49.90 per, per game at any time, even without the sale. That's only a little bit better than the current sale for number one. What that means is that yes, there is a sale right now for, for the Xenoblade Chronicles games, but you don't have to get it right now if you don't want, because you can just use the tickets to get it later. But still, it's a good time to get number one to save a little bit of money in the really, really cool games. Lots of voice acting, super fun. Um, I really love these games and I can't wait for number three. So if you're looking forward to number three, now's a great time to get started. Next, for number 17, we have Bravely Default 2. This game is available on PC, and we can see here that it's 40% off, making it $44. This is a really cool game for fantasy lovers. Um, Bravely Default is a really interesting RPG, and number 2 is quite cool. There isn't any chat logs, unfortunately, and there's no replay for the audio. However, you can take the language at your own pace, and it is voice acted, so that's quite nice. This is a little bit more on the difficult end of things because of the fact that you can't replay the audio, but right now, it's 40%. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's quite a fun game, so if you want to maybe push yourself a little bit more, then check out Bravely Default 2. Number 16, Near Replicant. Now, I freaking love the Near franchise. It's so freaking cool. And Near Replicant is actually slightly the more easier game than Near Automata to help you learn Japanese. And the reason why is because, number one, you can take most of the dialogue between most of the characters in the whole game at your own pace except for the cutscenes. And number two, every single NPC interaction is voice acted. Everything. <laughs> it's crazy. I've never seen this before in a game, ever. Every single interaction is voice acted. That is ridiculous, okay? So if you love Nier, this is a great game for you. Nier Automata is a little bit more difficult um, than Replicant, but Replicant, is so good. You can take it at your own pace and everything is voice acted. Yes, um, the cutscenes do fly by. I believe you can pause and take it at your own pace, but still, um, it does fly by. Yes, the story is a little bit confusing, <laughs> which makes it a little bit difficult for you language learners, but the fact that it you can take all of the dialogue at your own speed and the fact that it's all voice acted, I have to have this in the list here. And right now, it's 50% off on both PC and PS4, making it $42.90, so $42, $43. A fantastic game, a difficult game, but a really good one if you're ready to take the challenge. Next at number 15, we have Yakuza 7. And Yakuza 7 is 40% off, making it just under $40. So that's a really good price uh, for Yakuza 7. Now, this game's really cool. It's set in Japan, just like Lost Judgment and the Judgment series, the Yakuza games are set in real life Japan, so you really get this feel like you're in Japan, right? The, the, the scenery really does you feel the same. You can see the buildings, the train going past, the people walking down, the, the vending machines, everything. It's really, really cool experience, especially if you're missing Japan, maybe because of, you know, this long wait uh, with, uh, you know, the, the pandemic happening right now, not able to come to Japan. Well, then maybe this game will help you kind of scratch that itch, that I want to be in Japan itch. Now, 
Yakuza 7 does have um, a movie replay function at the main menu. You can replay any of the cutscenes that you've um, passed. So that's kind of cool. You can replay the cutscenes. When you're playing the game, uh, you can press the pause button and it doesn't bring up any annoying overlay. You can see the text quite clearly. And there is enough time after each sentence to quickly press the pause button um, just after they say it to press a pause and then you can read it at your own pace. So the game doesn't have a chat log, unfortunately. Um, it was a genius move to add it in Lost Judgment, but unfortunately the Yakuza series doesn't have a chat log, at least from what I've seen. Um, so this game has voice acting. It's very much set in real Japan, um, and there is quite a lot of language that you have to take at your own pace that you need to read, um, so that's nice. You, there is, it is not all movie language. Um, however, it is a little bit more of a challenging game, I have to admit, and there is a lot of slang um, and Yakuza speech. But it's also really cool because you kind of, it's not all about being in the Yakuza, it's also about kind of being in Japan. Um, you know, you kind of things happen and, and let's say you have to kind of work your way up in society um, so it's nice you get to see a whole different range of people and characters it's not just Yakuza characters all the time so this is a really cool game it's 40% off only on PlayStation 4 not Steam but it's a really good game to check out if you're interested in checking out the Yakuza franchise now number 14 one of the best games ever to learn Japanese with, we have Dragon Quest XI. This is 35% off right now on PC, Switch, and PlayStation 4, making it $35. That is ridiculous. This game is one of the best games to help you learn Japanese. It really is. I put it in perhaps maybe my top three of all games. It's a really, really good game. It has voice acting, it has push to continue, and it has push to continue in the cutscenes. I've never seen a game do the same thing uh, like Dragon Quest XI does where as the cutscenes play it's not actually a movie it's just just like a normal game right so it's in game as it's playing so there's a guy on a horse and he's like hey stop and if you don't press the button he'll keep on just staying in that motion <laughs> and so you can take time to read the, 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 the sentence and then press the button again to move on to the next one so that's huge. Not only that, it has Furigana as well. This is the first game so far uh, in this list that has Furigana, which makes it very accessible no matter what level you are. There is fantasy speech, um, there is normal speech, there is Keigo, there is old man speech, there is cute speech, but it's a really great game, seriously, um, and it's definitely, definitely, definitely worth buying. I would put it as a must buy. Um, so 35% off, great time to get it, $35. Hope you guys enjoy. Next for number 13, we have Monster Hunter Stories 2. This is a really cool game, uh, especially for kind of beginners because it has a lot of furigana. There are voice acted scenes. Um, unfortunately, you can't take them at your pace. So if you were to have a battle, um, Dragon Quest would come out on top. But it has a ton of furigana, even in like game explanations, which is often a very difficult thing for learners of Japanese to kind of go through. So this is a great game to help you get used to reading you know even just game menus and explanations tutorials um, and obviously you know monster hunters more fantasy based so it may have a little bit more language that you might not necessarily see in a textbook you know things like dinosaurs and stuff but really cool game it's right now 50% off on both PC and switch making it 34 bucks really cool game Furigana makes it super accessible most of the language you can take at your own pace, it just is unfortunate that the movies, you can't. Um, they just happen. So that is an unfortunate part about this game. But it's really, really cool. It's a fun game. It has Furigana. So it's definitely a great game to check out now that it's 50% off. There is a demo version as well, so feel free to check that out first before you make any purchases. Now moving on to number 12, we have The Great Ace Attorney Adventures. Now, you could put the trilogy here as well, that's totally fine, but for me personally, uh, I don't really like too many of the characters in the trilogy. <laughs> don't attack me please. Um, the trilogy is fantastic, it is really good, but I just think this is just a little bit better and more interesting and more polished version. So here is both 1 and 2. You get both of the games here in the Great Ace Attorney Adventures. Now this is just set in the Meiji era, and what this game is is it's kind of like a detective lawyer visual novel, right? Um, you need to use clues that you find, and you need to use logic in people's stories to kind of break apart the stories and show that they're 
they're lying and things like that uh, and you know in a courtroom really really cool because what this game has that so far none of the other games has is a requirement for you to understand what's going on so that you can progress through the game that means that it kind of puts this sense of urgency on your need to understand what you're reading this is also quite rewarding because as you play and you're like, hey, I don't understand. Oh, I do understand. I'm understanding. <gasps> I just showed that that guy's lying because I understand. It really is quite rewarding to kind of be like, you can see that based on you understanding the Japanese, you're able to progress. There's not too many games where you actually need understanding in order to progress. So this is quite cool, right? Now, this game is mostly just text. There are some cutscenes, though, um, especially in the beginning, where you have a little bit of voice uh, acting just to make things a bit interesting. But for the most part, for the well most part, um, it's just text without voice acting. However, Thank you, video game gods. This game has a backlog. <laughs> so you can just press, I believe, the T button uh, if you're playing on PC, and you can have a look at the chat log and read it all at your own pace. This is really important in this kind of game because you understanding when someone said something and their testimonies and stuff, and then using that against them is really important in this game. So being able to have a log and go back through is super, super useful, and it's great for you as a language learner. Now, this game doesn't have furigana on words, unfortunately, and it doesn't have voice acting. So that does make it a little bit difficult for you because that means you have to manually look up the kanji maybe on your phone or maybe with an OCR reader. However, it's 38% off right now on Steam, so 30 bucks, or it's 40% off uh, PS4 and Switch, making it $29.94. So quite cheap right now, as we can see, you know, 40% off. So we're getting now for the games that are under $40. So this is a really good one. A lot of text for you to read, a good fun time and quite rewarding, right? Because you get to have a lot of humor and you have to understand the logic and the twists and turns and, uh, you know, the kind of court case situation. So it's a really, really fun game. And I equally recommend the original trilogy as well. That's great as well. But just right now, um, for me personally, I think if I had to pick which one to have on this list, I'd have this one. That being said, though, the original trilogy is actually cheaper if you want to check that out. Next, we have a killer bundle. Number 11 is the Team Zero Escape Bundle. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. So this bundle includes Zero Escape, the Nonari games, which is two of the first games in the series. It also includes Zero Escape, Zero Time Dilemma, which is the most recent game in the series. And it has AI Somnium, which is made by the same guys, but just a different game. So that is four huge games with so much text. Um, a lot of them have voice acting, a lot of them have logs. Not all of them, but a lot of them do, especially the newer ones like AI Somnium and Zero Time Dilemma. That is a lot of voice acting, a lot of Japanese reading, a lot of logs, a lot of useful uh, Japanese study right here. And this is only $27. <laughs> so this right now is 72% off. 72% off. <laughs> that is ridiculous, okay? If you want to buy these games individually right now, even on sale, they're only like $8 each, okay? That's 60% that's to 80% off. But if you buy them in this bundle, so you get four games, that's still only $27 for four incredible games that have voice acting, chat logs, uh, time puzzles, all that kind of crazy stuff, kind of escape game type thing where you're trying to escape a situation or you're trying to figure out murder mysteries and all kinds of stuff. Super cool games, super fun games, great art style, seriously incredible highly 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 recommended i actually had them in my tier list video um as really recommended games and you're getting four of them right here for 27 bucks okay so now we're at the top 10 cheapest games here on the current sale so here now at number 10 we have the world of final fantasy the complete edition this is currently 61 percent off on steam making it only 24 dollars and this game is kind of like a Final Fantasy Pokemon type thing where it's turned all of the Final Fantasy creatures, it's getting them all together, all the characters, all the voice actors and all of the worlds and it's kind of coming together in a very cutesy type world. Now, this is a really cool game because there's great voice acting. Um, it's really interesting, especially if you're a Final Fantasy fan, because you get to see all of your you know, favorite characters appear. It is kind of chibi style, so if you don't like that, then it might not be for you. Um, I have kind of grown a little bit uh, used to it. I remember at first I was really put off by the characters, but it is quite an interesting one, and it does really touch upon a lot of the Final Fantasy franchises. Now, 
This game does have voice acting, it doesn't have chat logs or anything like that unfortunately, but I have found one really interesting trick, I don't know why it works, but if you press the ALT button um, while you're playing the game on PC, then it actually pauses the scene, like it pauses the game itself, but it doesn't continue the next line. So let's say a character is supposed to say two lines, if you press the ALT button, the game will freeze, They'll say the one line, the music will keep playing, but they'll stop. They won't say the next line. So this actually makes it easy for you to take it at your own pace, because you can just press the ALT button, the whole game will freeze, but you'll, it'll keep saying the audio, just the visuals will freeze. You can now read the line at your own speed, and then press ALT again and the game will continue. So this is a really interesting feature? Bug? I'm not sure. It was working for me, hopefully it works for you. Just so you know, um, I did play in windowed mode, I don't know if that helped, but the fact that it actually, like, didn't go to the next line, but the audio kept playing, yet it looked weird. <laughs> it works, <laughs> so that's all that matters. And it's a really cool game, voice acting, and you can take it at your own pace if you use this nifty little trick. So this game right now is 61% off, that makes it 24 bucks, only on Steam. So if you're looking for a kind of fun, happy, uh, colourful time, then this might be a cool game for you to check out. Okay, so number nine, Doraemon, the story of seasons. Now, this is pretty much just Bokujo Monogatari, um, Harvest Moon, but with um, Doraemon characters. This is a pretty cool game. Um, it has furigana, so that's quite nice. Um, it's, it's very friendly. It has a lot of kind of daily language because as you see, you're working in a kind of farm. You're dealing with, you know, farm objects and descriptions and things. Furigana helps make it quite accessible. There's no voice acting. Um, so unfortunately that does put it down a little bit, but it's 70% off, <laughs> so it's 20 bucks right now, um, which is significantly cheaper than what it normally is. I would not pay full price for this game, but 20 bucks, yeah, maybe. If you feel like playing some Harvest Moon and you want some Furigana to help you read the Japanese, then this is a comfy game to play and just get a little bit of Japanese here and there, so it's quite a cool one. Um, just be careful. On Steam it's 70% off, but on PS4 and Switch it actually has a different price. Um, on PS4 it's $38 and on Switch it's $39. So it's much cheaper on Steam at $20. Um, so just keep that in mind. Now moving on to number 8, we have Sakura Wars. Um, this game is available on the PlayStation 4 and it's, um, it's a long-running Japanese franchise, um, Sakura Taisen. Um, this is the newest one in the franchise and this has really nice visuals kind of anime style voice acting and it's it's quite a cool game lots of language for you to um, come across and it's it's probably the most kind of anime style game so far on the list so it, it has the whole you know anime tropes if you like anime this is a cool game for you if you're maybe not a huge fan of anime maybe not a great game for you um, this is 50% off though um, on PlayStation 4 making it $19 so that's very very cheap we're getting into the real cheap territory now um, so that's number eight sucker Wars. Number 7, one of the greatest games of all time, Final Fantasy X. Final Fantasy X right now is 50% off on Steam, PlayStation 4, and even Switch. So on Steam though, it is significantly cheaper. Significantly. So Final Fantasy X is $17 right now. <laughs> um, some of the Final Fantasy games are crazy. Um, I'm not going to recommend it, but just letting you know, Final Fantasy 13 is on sale right now, and it's like eight bucks or something. <laughs> so just letting you know. <laughs> um, but Final Fantasy 10, an actual good game. <laughs> don't, don't attack me. An actual good game, Final Fantasy 10 is 50% off. This is fantastic. It's actually $33 on the other consoles, so get it on PC. That's the right way to do it. Um, Final Fantasy X, it has voice acting. Um, I believe you can press the pause button and still see the dialogue um, as you're going through the story. Unfortunately though, there's no chat logs and things like that, um, and there's no cutscene replayability, so it is a little bit more of a difficult game. But, good news, this game has a game script. So um, actually, if you check the description of this video, I'll link a game script for you. And you can actually go along as you play this game and just read the game scripts. Use Yomi-chan or something to help you read the words. It's a really, really, really good way um, to help you learn Japanese. And actually, it's probably my recommended way to start playing games, is start a game with a game script. So you can actually go through, um, take it at your own pace and use dictionary lookups. You don't have to ever write anything or look things up. You can just copy paste and check it out. So. 
It's 50% off, $17. Check the game script in the description and enjoy Final Fantasy X. Now we're getting into some absurdly cheap games, okay? If we're under $15, this is ridiculous. So the first game we have here is Star Ocean First Departure for the PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch, and this is 60% off, making it $14. So this is ridiculous, okay? Star Ocean First Departure has a ton of Japanese voice acting. It's a really good RPG, really fun time. Um, highly recommended game, um, and it's super duper cheap. Now, Star Ocean First Departure has about 20 hours of gameplay with a bunch of voice acting, nice RPG gameplay. You can take the voice at your own time. So when someone talks, it's just like Final Fantasy VII, a little text box appears, and you press the button to continue. But the difference between a Final Fantasy VII game is this actually has voice acting. So that's really, really cool. Um, I personally feel like you should really be aiming for a game that has voice acting to help you get used to the sounds, to help you try and mimic how they talk and things like that. So it's, it's a really, really useful um, thing to have. And the fact that it has push to continue and voice acting, you have to have this game um, as a good game recommended for people to learn Japanese with um, just because it has that. And the fact that it's 14 bucks is really, really good. But wait before you buy because there's a little bit more further on in this list. So next we have number five. Judge Eyes. Now, Judge Eyes is actually the first game uh, for Lost Judgment. Lost Judgment was the very first game that we saw in this video, uh, the most expensive game on this list, and Judge Eyes is the first game. So, Judge Eyes and then Lost Judgment is the sequel. Judge Eyes is a ridiculous 30% off an already cheap price. It is $13. <laughs> uh, and that's because Lost Judgment kind of improves on everything that Judge Eyes has. That being said, though, it's still an incredible game. Uh, you know, the detective game where you go across and kind of solve mysteries and you look around and you try and find things out, figure things out. The only difference that I can notice between Judge Eyes and Lost Judgment in terms of a language learner is Lost Judgment added a chat log so you can go back and read all the things. That is a huge thing for a language learner, um, but still, every other good point of this game, Judge Eyes has. Um, it's just way, 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 way cheaper. <laughs> uh, this is $13 and Lost Judgment was 63. <laughs> so you could buy like five Judge Eyes <laughs> uh, in the same price you can get Lost Judgment. That being said though, the chat log is probably worth it. <laughs> but that being said, play the first one. Play Judge Eyes first and if you like it, go and play um, Lost Judgment. It's incredible, really good, set in Japan, lots of really useful language, very famous actors and actresses, really, really cool stuff. Um, one of my favorite games, um, really cool stuff, and it's $13, only on PlayStation 4. Okay, so now we're getting into the top four games here, and number four is Final Fantasy VIII and IX Remastered. So these two games, both of them, are the same price. They're 50% off, they're $12. So this is available on PC, PS4, and Switch. So you can pretty much get it anywhere. I believe you can even get it on your phone. Um, eight and nine. So they're both great games. There isn't any voice acting, okay? There's no logs, none of this fancy features. It's an old game, okay? So it might appear like a challenging game to play to help you learn Japanese with. Now, the thing that this game really has going for it for language learners is, number one, a lot of people have played these games, so they've already experienced the story. So you can relive the story in the way that it was supposed to be told, right? That type of thing. Um, you know, I say that loosely, but, you know, to, to, to experience the, the authentic original script, um, how the characters were originally written, which is something that's really rewarding in playing these games in Japanese, and I personally love doing it. Eight is easier than nine. Nine has a bunch of fantasy language, a bunch of really annoying characters that speak in weird ways, but they're both great games. Um, eight is just a little bit easier and you know, Triple Triad is a great game. <laughs> um, so this is $12, incredible, $10 off, and you can get it almost anywhere. The really good thing about these games, as I said with Final Fantasy X, the same thing applies here, game scripts. So there are game scripts available for both Final Fantasy VIII and Final Fantasy IX, and I'll put them in the descriptions below. Seriously, it is a game changer for helping you go through your first couple of games. Um, even if it doesn't have voice acting and chat logs, if you have the game script, 
you don't need it. You can just look it up at your own time. Uh, it's something that I really like doing. Um, often I will actually, well, what I used to do when I started out was I would read the game script like when I'm not playing the game. So let's say like I'm on the bus or I'm at a doctor's appointment. I might be like reading the Final Fantasy 7 or 8 or whatever game script and I'd be like, oh yeah, okay, that's what's happening, right? And then I would go and play it. So I've been exposed to the language already and it makes it much easier to go through it the next time. There's so many ways to approach games when you have a game script. So these are both really good games and they're really, really cheap. So they're number four. Number three. Tales of Vesperia. This is a fantastic game and it's 80% off. What? So Tales of Vesperia is uh, very similar to Tales of Arise in the points that make it really good, right? It has voice acting. You can often, you know, progress at your own speed by pressing the button. I think that's different from Arise, but Tales of Vesperia, um, it has these party interactions where you can see, you know, the interactions between characters. There's a lot of language. There's a lot of voice acting. Um, and it's just a really fun game. And it's super cheap here at $12. So there's no backlog or anything like that, but it is really cool. Um, it has pushed to continue in a lot of the cases, and it also has some voice acting here and there. So it's kind of a really good combination of both. Um, it's a great game. If it's something you're into, then it's definitely worth checking it out with it being 80% off. $12 on Steam, it's pretty much a giveaway. Okay, and now we're on games that are under $10, okay? So we have the final two games, and number two is Star Ocean 2. Now, this is actually the better version of Star Ocean that we saw previously, First Departure. Star Ocean 2 is considered one of the greatest Star Ocean games ever made. It's probably the peak of the entire franchise, and right now, it's 60% off, making it only nine dollars <laughs> so crazy stuff um you can get this on playstation 4 and that's where it's available really good game i love this game um, as you already may have noticed i've used it in a bunch of my videos on um, the n5 grammar video and four grammar video really really cool stuff voice acting super fun um this is a fantastic game nine dollars there are some game scripts but i don't know of any complete game script i'll try and see what i can find and put them in the link description as well um great game for under ten dollars and we have the final game the cheapest game right now available for the golden week sale of 2022 and quite luckily this is also one of the games that i really recommend people to start learning uh, for the first time it's actually my first game that i played in japanese Final Fantasy VII. So I'm so happy that this is number one on the list. Um, this is $9 or 917 yen, 50% off on the PlayStation 4 and the Switch. It is not available on PC. Don't be tricked. Um, if you buy this on PC, you will never get Japanese language options because it was never released on Steam in Japan. There is no Japanese available. So if you want to buy this game in Japanese, PlayStation 4 or Switch is the way to go. Final Fantasy 7 is often considered the greatest Final Fantasy ever made by a lot of people. Uh, I'm not saying it is, but a lot of people do consider it to be. Um, we, we've seen all these spin-offs and everything. There's a reason why, okay? This is a fantastic game. It's it was something that will always hold so deep in my heart of being, you know, such an important and special game. I started this channel with Final Fantasy VII Remake, you know, because I have so much love for this game. Um, so to see it at number one is very, very good. This game is fantastic. It has the same things that I said about Final Fantasy VIII and IX, where, you know, you can't use any kind of voice acting or game logs or anything like that. But there are game scripts, and actually there's multiple different game scripts available online. I'm going to give you guys my personal script that I used in the link below. Um, this, right now, this link is way better than all of the other available scripts. I actually can't find this script anymore, so I've been using this script for like 10 years, um, and I can't find it anywhere else, so hopefully you guys make use of this script um, in the video description. But Final Fantasy VII, what can I say? It's a classic. It's one of the greatest games ever made. It's fantastic. Uh, if you haven't played Final Fantasy VII, now's a great time. If you have played Final Fantasy VII, now's a great time to experience it in Japanese. Um, this was the game that I started my Japanese learning with. 
playing video games. Um, I This is my first challenge that I overcame in my Japanese learning uh, journey, and uh, I'll always feel really special about this game. Um, I highly recommend that if you want to play this game, um, that you get the, the PS4 or the Switch version because it's HD text, which is much better than any other way of playing it. Um, and also make use of the scripts because you can just do control F and then find the sentence that you're currently on. Um, the script that I'm going to give you guys actually has it segmented in the areas, which makes it really easy for you because you know where you are. I'm in Wutai. Just look for the Wutai section uh, and do control F. Um, on that part of the spreadsheet. There is actually the English translation, uh, the actual English that's used in the game as well on that script. So this can actually also really help you because you can be like, I don't quite understand this sentence. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> um, thanks to having the dual language script, you can actually check it out and kind of go, oh, that's what they, oh, I kind of see what's going on. And that can help you, right? To slowly build up your skills. This was my first game. And personally, I recommend that you try and go through at least one to two games first um, and get over that hurdle, right? Try and find two games that are going to help you get over that hurdle in the beginning. Once you've gone through your first two games, you're going to find yourself at an ability level where you're much more able and capable to take on other games. So picking your first two games to really help you attain those skills is really important. And this game really is great at helping you do that, especially with the script that's linked in the description. So that is it guys, we've gone through the top 25 games uh, that are available right now on the Golden Week sale. Now as I said previously, um, this is not the definitive list of the best games to learn Japanese with, it's just the best games that I think that are available right now on sale. There are a ton of great games available to help you learn Japanese with, so if the game that you love didn't make it on the list, please let me know in the comments section below what game you think people should check out and how you can get it, and, and please if any of these games uh, you can't get in maybe America or Australia or whatever, please let everyone know in the comment section down below and maybe show them how they can get it. It's really difficult for me to know how you guys can get these games because in Japan, I can't see. I can't see what the language options are that are available in different regions, only what's available here in Japan. So I hope that the game in this list that you might want to play is available in your country. And if not, I apologize. I'm very, very sorry. That's just the way it is. <laughs> Japan is a little bit mm, on the, you know, import export of their language. Um, but hopefully the game that you guys want to play is available. So there we have it, the top 25 games for 22 Golden Week sale. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found some games that maybe you might want to check out yourself and maybe test yourself with your Japanese language ability. Good luck, guys. Remember, the most important thing is just having fun. Just try and find a way to enjoy learning Japanese. Don't be so hard on yourself and just go for it. Just have fun, immerse in something you love. And even if it's difficult, just keep trying because once you get through it, you're going to find that you've attained these skills that you never had and all of a sudden things are going to be much easier for you. Um, it's just it's just a struggle. <laughs> it's just step by step. You've got to make those small steps and it's you're not going to notice it. It's just going to be a gradual thing. You're slowly going to get the vocab. You're slowly going to get used to how the grammar's used. You're slowly going to get used to how the sentences are formed. But I feel like playing games can really help you um, in attaining those skills in a fun way, in a way that doesn't make you want to <laughs> Persona 3 yourself. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, a huge thank you to all the supporters on Patreon. And if you want to join us on the Game Gengo Discord community and come say hi to me, I'm around pretty much always to chat if you want to say hello, then feel free to join us on the Game Gengo Patreon. Have fun, guys, and I'll see you next time.